Hi, this is Alicia Little, and I am back with some Audacity training. Now, I told you to play around with the tool, but I wanted to give you some quick training so that you can make that portfolio of audio that you want to make so you can get some orders, or if you have a voiceover and need to deliver it today, what do you need to know? All right, so here we are. We're inside Audacity. The first thing I want you to do is look for the microphone icon at the top. It's right here. And then pick the type of microphone you have. I have a blue snowball. It's the one we recommend you get. So you can see I pick that from the drop down menu. If you have a USB headset for output to listen to, you need to come over here to the stereo icon right there and choose that USB um, headset right here. Again, that's for output, a headset that you're using to listen. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this red record button and I am going to record an audio and we're going to just do a little test, have some fun so I can show you some quick editing in order to complete that first order that you have. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Remember, this red record button is what starts the recording. Hi, this is Alicia Little and I'm teaching you how to use Audacity. I've been using Audacity for years, probably a decade at least, and I want to show you how you can use it for your benefit as well. Use your voice to make money and use Audacity as the tool to make it happen. All right, so had a little bit of fun there. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the places that I want to delete, the things that I want to delete on this track or audio that I want to silent. So let's listen to part of it. Hi, this is Alicia Little and I'm teaching you how to use Audacity. I've been so already we see that in the beginning there's just some noise and right here I take a deep breath. Did you hear that deep breath? So what I want to do is I actually want Hi, to, this is Alicia. sorry, I actually want to cut the beginning. So let's cut this so it starts without, it just starts right at, hi, this is Alicia Little. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this section right here. You see me highlighting this section. Uh, let me go back, push it back just a little bit more, and I want to cut it. So look at these tools at the top. We have a trim audio tool, a cut tool, and a silence audio tool. So I am going to use the cut tool to cut out this section. I have to highlight it on the top as well, and there we go. It's cut. Now what I want to do is I want to mute this deep breath right here. So I still want the pause in the audio, but I don't want to hear my deep breath. So I am going to select this part of the audio. Let me just move it over just a tad more. And then I'm going to press this silence audio button. Did you see how it, let me do an undo. So you see the audio is there. I press the silence audio and it's not there. So let me do an undo and let's play it. Listen to Audacity. my Audacity. I've been using Audacity for, all right, did you hear that? <gasps> right? So now that I'm going to silence it, let me choose it again. Oops. Choose it again. I've been using Audacity for, oops, hang on one second. There we go. Silence it. Now I want you to listen. To use Audacity. I've been using Audacity. Right, now you just heard the pause. So there we go. That's how you cut and trim audio to adjust it for what you need. I often do that deep breath thing and don't realize it. So I come back and I look for places in the audio where that might be evident that I should delete. Let's listen to this part here. See, for years, probably a decade at least, and I want, did you hear I did it again? <gasps> and I want, so I need to delete that. So I want the pause right there though. So I'm gonna highlight it so that I can just mute it. So I have to pick it on the top as well and mute it. So now let's play it a decade at least. And I want to, right? So you heard that the <gasps> was gone. Okay, so there's a quick way to edit your audio. Now what I want to do is I want to bring in some background music. So I'm going to go to file and then I'm going to go to import and I'm going to go to audio. So I'm going to import some music here. Oops, to get off of this track first because I'm going to do a new track. Let me press stop in the audio. Now I can import it. So did you see that? I had it on pause and I couldn't import audio. So now I need to go to file, import audio, 
and I'm going to pick the audio that I want to import. And so let's play it now. Okay, so I was able to bring the audio in. Remember, when I was playing with this audio track right here, my voiceover, I had to stop everything on it and then press File, Import Audio, and it brought this audio in. Got it? Yes? Okay. So that often happens to me where I'm messing with this audio, trying to bring in acoustics or background music and can't figure out why it's not coming in. It's because you have still selected and are messing with this track. So make sure you press the stop button and then you can bring it in. So I was successful at bringing it in. Now I just want you to listen to it for a second. So a little and I'm teaching you how to use Audacity. Whoa, this music is so loud. You can't even hear me anymore, right? So to bring down this audio right here so that it's not as loud, it's not louder than my voice, I'm going to I'm going to adjust it. So come right here and let's look at, so we're working with this audio right here. Let's look at adjusting the sound to making it a little bit low, lower. First, I'm going to play this for you one more time and so I'm you can remember you how to use Audacity. All right, you saw how loud that was. So now we're highlighting this track right here and I'm going to bring it down. All right, I'm bringing it down. Now what I want to do is listen to it to see what it sounds like. Let's listen. Little, And I'm teaching you how to use Audacity. How easy was that? And that is actually pretty good. I like it. Let's listen one more time. Yeah, I'm teaching you how to use Audacity. I've been using Audacity for years. Do you like that? Let me just turn it down just a little bit more. I really want it to be really background. Here we go. See a little and I'm teaching you how to use Audacity. I love it. I am so happy with it. So that is something that, um, you know, I, you really should play with is pulling down the audio. It's so easy. I want to show you this part right here, the left and right. Don't mess with this. This is panning the audio and it's like making it more towards the right or the left. Um, don't mess with that. Leave that alone. You don't need to mess with that right there. Now, I have a headset plugged in. And as I'm recording this in Camtasia, you're, you're hearing the system audio. So I'm going to recommend that as you're doing this, you also plug a headset into your computer so you don't get the feedback when you're recording um, if you're importing audio and messing with it anyway. Just to make a long story short, also plug in a headset when you're working with your audio. Now, I see that this audio track is way longer than my um, my vocal track and I don't want that to happen. I want them both to end at the same time. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to cut out this extra audio. So you have to make sure everything is stopped, right? So press stop, it's not in the play mode. And I'm going to select all of this audio right here to cut. And I'm going to press the cut tool. See the cut tool right here? cut see you later bye bye <laughs> and so now i want this to fade out as well let me fade it a little bit earlier so you know when you're listening to an audio track and it starts to fade as the audio starts to end you know it's coming to an end so i highlighted the part that i want to fade out and i'm going to go to effects and then i'm going to go to fade out and it's going to fade out at the the audio, sorry, the music is going to fade out as the audio comes to an end. Let's play it. Use your voice to make money and use Audacity as the tool to make it happen. Yeah, did you hear that? You could hear it was really fading out. But you want, I wanted the music to last a little longer. I'm going to highlight this and I'm actually going to... Um, silence my audio because you could hear a mouse click in the background, right? Now let's play it again. Audacity as the tool to make it happen. Yay! I am so happy with that. Yes, give me a clap. Give me a clap. You can do it too, right? Was not hard. That was not hard to do. So I want you to play around with it. There you go. Quick way to get a voiceover done and out the door really quickly. Um, could you fade this in? Absolutely. Let me highlight, go to effect. I'm going to fade it in. So now it, the music fades in in the beginning, fades out at the end. Really professional, right? <laughs> You're doing some really professional stuff right here. So now you need to export it. 
So before I export it, let's review what we did. We recorded an audio, we set up our microphone and we recorded an audio. We used the silencing tool and the, tr uh, and the cut tool to cut and silence different parts of audios. We brought in a musical background. It's just background music. I faded it in in the beginning, which you don't have to do. I just wanted to do it to show you as an example. And we faded it out at the end. I, I usually recommend fading it out at the end. It makes it sound real good. We silenced it. We did a whole lot of stuff here. Really quick and easy to do. So now we want to export this file. So, all right, um, I'm going to go to file and you should have installed the lame encoder from the previous video. So you will be able to export this as an MP3. So you're going to click on export as an MP3. I'm just going to do this as test, test one. I did the test um, in the previous video with you. And then I leave everything the same MP3 audio file. I leave this the same. And then I'm going to press save and Let's see, saving the file. You can import, you can write this stuff if you want, or you just click OK. Now the file um, is exporting, and voila, we are done. So let me go ahead and find that file so we can listen to it. All right, so I opened up the file. Let's take a listen. Hi, this is Alicia Little, and I'm teaching you how to use Audacity. I've been using Audacity for years, probably a decade at least, and I want to show you how you can use it for your benefit as well. Use your voice to make money and use Audacity as the tool to make it happen. Yay, I'm so happy with that. So fast, so easy. Now, when we exported it, we did file export audio and I chose to export it as an MP3 file but there's so many different types of file types. You see right here, there's so many different types, um, file types that you can export it as, and it just depends on what the client wants. The most common is an MP3 file with a WAV file following shortly after that. The WAV file is much bigger and much more high quality. So you can also charge additional for, it can be an upsell of yours, for selling, for also giving them the WAV file. Now, does it take any extra effort on your part? Absolutely not. It's just that it's a bigger file you're then sending to them. So you could um, export it as a WAV file as well. So that's it, guys. That's it. You have what you need to create your first voiceover. I am going to tell you, play around with it. You will have so much fun with the effects. You really need to get to use it. And it's through playing around with it. It's not going to break. It's through playing around with it that you'll really get to understand the power of audacity. Go out there. Make some money with your voice. Have some fun. This is Alicia Little on how to use audacity. So have fun with it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.